Let's look at lesson number 20. I have 2x plus a negative 3. And on the right side, I have a 5 plus x. So why don't we first of all remove a blue pawn from each side? And once we do that, we now know how to solve this, don't we? Well, why don't we simply add a red 3 to this side and a red 3 to that side? This is a pair of opposites, and we see that x has a value of 8. Let's clear the board to do the check. So I have two x's plus a negative 3 equals to 5 plus x. Let's see if x equals to 8 makes both sides balance. If x is 8, 8 and 8 is 16. 16 Take away 3 would be 13, so this side is a value of 13. Whoops, 13. And if x is 8, 5 and 8 is 13, so both sides do have the same value. Okay, let's look at another example for lesson 20. In this example, I have 2 star, and I need to take away a negative 3, but I don't have a green 3 to take away, so let me add a green 3 and a red 3. Now I can take away my green 3, and on the right side I have a negative 12 plus a star. Well, why don't we begin by removing a white pawn from each side. And now to get rid of this red 3, why don't we add a green 3 to this side and a green 3 to this side. This is a pair of opposites, so we see the star is equal to negative 15. To do the check, we'll clear the board, and we'll set up the problem one more time. I have two stars, and I need to take away a negative 3, so let's add a pair of opposites. Now I can take away a negative 3, and on the right side I have a negative 12 plus a star. Let's see if negative 15 works. If star is negative 15, negative 15, and negative 15 is a negative 30 plus 3 would be a negative 27. And if star is a negative 15, negative 15 and negative 2 is negative 17, and negative 10 would be a negative 27. So now you're ready to try the next example on your own.